Hi Dollar Divas, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna be testing out a couple of new Dollar Tree makeup products. It's not a full face of new products, but there are a couple items that I've had that I've been meaning to test, and one is an eyeshadow palette, so I'm super excited. If you are a returning Dollar Diva, thank you so much for coming on back for another video. I do appreciate you very, very, very much. And if you are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Jessica, and I love to do a lot of Dollar Store and Dollar Tree oriented makeup and shopping content. So if that's your thing, you're definitely in the right place. I do hope you'll subscribe and become one of my Dollar Divas. So without any further chit chat, let's just go ahead and get into today's video. So before I forget, because I always kind of forget, I'm gonna start out with my primers. So these aren't super new. I have used this, I think, in a video before. This is the Be Pure Essentially Ageless Blur Face Primer. And I'm gonna go ahead and use it again today on my face. And then I've had this for quite a while. This is the LA Colors Eye Primer, the one that's in the matte finish. And I don't see these very often at the Dollar Tree, but I have it and I'm testing out some eyeshadow. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my eyeshadow primer today as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this primer all over my face. It's kind of like a soft pink primer. And I remember really liking it. Now for me, like, I notice a difference with like eyeshadow primers. I do, I kind of notice that my makeup, my eyeshadow goes on more, um, a little bit more pigmented, I feel. Um, but for me, the jury is still out on like face primers. I don't know if they really do a whole lot for me personally, but if there is one, I will use one or if I, I have for, or like if I'm wearing makeup for a particularly long time during the day, I will put a primer on my face. This one here feels nice though. Um, it's not like the smoothest and silkiest one I've ever used, but it does feel nice. Now I'm going to go ahead and use the eyeshadow primer as well. My eyebrows are a little red because I just, um, I just tweezed. <laughs> so I like this because it's got a little bit of color in it. It's kind of like a lighter shade and I'm gonna go ahead and use a concealer brush. I really desperately need another one of these. I have an It Cosmetics one, but it's currently in my work makeup bag. And this one here, the bristles, I could actually pull them out right now and it's fallen apart. So I like really need to get another one of these. This is by e.l.f. It's really very good. I love that this has a little bit of like um, a color to kind of tone down my eyelids. So now we're gonna do eyebrows. And this here has been like my current favorite eyebrow pencil. Dollar Tree has several good ones. The LA Colors is a great eyebrow pencil in my opinion. Um, I only has a regular pencil and then this is their retractable pencil. And this is dark brown. I also recently hauled medium brown just to have it. In fact, I think I'm gonna use that today because my hair is a little bit on the lighter side. Let me go grab that real quick. So here is the medium brown one. Looks exactly the same, it's just medium brown. <laughs> so it's retractable, which like I said, is absolutely amazing. I have both of their regular pencils in both dark brown and medium brown. I hate that they don't make like a light brown or a blonde. I guess, you know, if you have black hair, you can use either dark brown or like a black pencil, but I do wish they had more because it's such a wonderful product. A little on the warm side color wise but it always comes together and works out in the end, I feel. It's actually very on the warm side. I don't know if I'm just like seeing things, but that's okay. We're gonna go with it. Okay, not my favorite job I've ever, ever done with my brows, but we're gonna just, we're gonna clean them up and everything will be fine. So again, not a super new product, but I have this Essentially Ageless Hydrating Serum Concealer. I think this is the shade light. I was at Dollar Tree the other day and saw that they had some like darker shades. So I think this is the shade light. I know that's usually what I tend to go for. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put this on like a flat brush and just kinda do a little cleaning up. This is not the best concealer for this purpose, but you know, I'm trying to use the newest thing that I have. And this is, I'm pretty sure, my newest concealer. I have not run across, I am on the hunt for the Be Pure, I think it's the hydrating concealer. It's I think it's part of the clean line. So I have the foundation and I'm really on the hunt for the concealer, but I have not found it. So I had one day last week. So my cat, Sophia, long story short, she had to go to the vet and get an enema. Yeah, she was really constipated. I don't know, I'm airing out her dirty laundry. But anyway, um, so I didn't know how long it was gonna take. So I kind of killed time while she was, kind of once I knew she was okay, you know, that was just, you know, she was just severely constipated. I went out and about and kind of just, I went all around town. I ended up at four different Dollar Trees. I did not see it in any of those Dollar Trees. Okay, I am feeling much better about this. Last couple of videos, I don't feel like I've done a really good job with my eyebrows. I've just, I don't know, some of them just get in a, get in the way. I think what I'm trying to do is on camera, I'm trying to like not to 
block the view, so I'm doing it from a little further away. Okay, so now we're gonna get into the eyeshadow. So you'll remember about a month ago, I came back from Georgia and I had hauled all four of these palettes from the Malibu Glitz. Um, I used, num there's, they're numbered, one, two, three, and four. And this one here is number two. I used one last time. This one's a little bit of a much brighter color story. And um, I do have some videos. I'm wanting to do like some Dollar Tree, like two looks, one palette kind of thing. I mean, if you'd be interested in seeing something like that, definitely let me know. Because I'm just trying to use more like older Dollar Tree makeup as well and show people that you can still get looks. I feel like it's just it's just needed in this day and time right now. I love trying new stuff, but I know not everybody's going to have this palette and there's certain things that you can find like all the time. But anyway, I'm trying to, I want to do like go back into some other palettes and do, like I said, two looks, one palette type of videos. I just have not gotten around to it yet. So this palette here, this like top shade, I think this was... Um, true in the other palette as well. It's like a cream product and I don't really know I don't, I don't know really why. Um, <laughs> yeah, I don't really know why. So I'm going to kind of go up to my crease in this shade right here, this kind of middle brownish kind of shade. So I'm going to kind of go up to my crease with this. It's going on a little patchy. My brush is a little damp because I had to clean it off. The last palette is like the, the color story was very kind of, um, let me try a different brush. The color story was uh, very, very neutral and I really got a very nice look with it. I was very surprised. You see, that might just be because that brush is a little damp. I have like a dry brush now. Oh yeah, this seems to be doing a little bit better. And I was gonna go into like another palette to get like a lighter shade, but I'm kind of wanting to just like do like this palette on its own and kind of see what it'll do. Oh yeah, that's much better. See like now I'm starting like on a clean slate with this eye. Yeah, that was my brush. I was using, I think, probably a brush that was a little too small for kind of what I'm trying to do. Very, I'm not surprised. That is the wrong word. Cause like I said, the last one performed really, really well. I forget that I have a color switch. I can't remember the last time I used this. So now is where I have to kind of get creative. Like, what do I want to do? So I think what I'm gonna do, of course, I'm gonna add a pop of color. You know, you know I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna go into this shade here all the way on the bottom. It's kind of like a charcoal. I'm gonna kind of darken the outer portion of my eye. Wow, that's actually, that's really going on very, very, very well. I think I had a Dollar Diva. I think it was, I think it was uh, Tina, I think she was telling me that they sold these palettes. They looked kind of familiar when I saw them in the store. And I bought these in Georgia. I have not seen these at my Dollar Trees here in Tennessee. Not to say they're not in anywhere in Tennessee, but where I live, I have not seen them. Wow, that's really going on very well. Tina told me, one of my Dollar Divas, um, that Shop Miss A had these on their website. I don't know if they still do, but they did at one time. And I was like, I knew they looked familiar because I think one time when I was scrolling Shop Miss A, it's been years, but um, I think I remember seeing them. That is like, that is really, that is something. <laughs> and I'm not even really particularly making a mess. Like there's really not a lot of fallout. Really good. So the question is, I think I wanna, um, I think I kinda wanna brighten up the dark part with this like sapphire blue color here on the top. So I'm gonna use the same brush and go into that. It's the second one down from the top. I'm just kinda, pop some color in here. We may be doing a blue look today. I might use that pop blue. Although I feel like I kind of did that last time, my last video. Can't have too much blue, I don't feel. I, I do love blue. I know blue eyeshadow was really big in like the 80s and all that stuff, everyone was wearing it. I was wearing it when it wasn't cool, like in the, I don't know, 2000s. I'm sure I got made fun of, but I don't really care. Yeah, these are just absolutely great. And I, I don't find the pan too difficult to navigate. I just go on like the wider side. I mean, is it like perfectly ideal? No, it's not, but it's not not terrible. Yeah, I think I am gonna go into that bright blue second from the bottom up. And it's a little bit shimmery. It might just have kind of a spray on it. You know, these aren't really matte eyeshadows, but they're not really shimmery either. And um, so I'm gonna go into that and then I'm gonna wet the brush. I have this um, Le Mercery setting spray, so I will wet my brush with that. So I'm gonna kind of Pack it on there. It's really not as offensive as I thought it could be. Okay, 
I'm not hating it. And since we're going kind of crazy here, I'm gonna try to pop a little bit of this hot pink shade kind of on the inside. I may live to regret this, but I'm gonna do it anyway. So I'm gonna take like a little, like a small brush and I am gonna spray this. Wow, that's like hot pink on the brush. I don't think I've ever seen, like, I don't know if it even comes up on camera. Look at how like pigmented that is. I don't know if it's gonna translate. Wow. I really should have waited to do that because I'm gonna end up putting concealer, but we'll go in and touch up. I got very carried away, very, very excited. And this look is not by any means done. You know how it is, I always come back to the eyes, but let me just commit to what I've done here. Yeah, we're choosing bright today. We're gonna move on to like liner, lashes, face, come back and finish this up because this is gonna be a little bit of a special look, I can feel. So this is fairly new. I did use this in a couple videos. Um, it's the Be Pure Hydrating Mascara. It's my favorite mascara from the Dollar Tree. Like I said, not a super miracle, but as far as stuff at the Dollar Tree, this is my favorite. But honestly, I, I have worn this alone and like I have worn just this in a video a couple of videos ago, um, but normally I wear fake eyelashes. So I'm just gonna put this on. It is a brown mascara. I'm just gonna put it on that way when I put my lashes on. I just like having a little bit of mascara on my lashes when I have my fake lashes on. So I'm just gonna put like a coat of this on. I do have some new lashes. They're not like super current, but you may have seen them. It's like a different brand that the Dollar Tree was carrying like last year. I still see them from time to time and I have a new pair that I have not worn. But first I'm gonna put on some liquid liner and I haven't used this in a while, this Ioni liquid liner. I hauled this uh, last year, the year before. It's like a felt tip liner. They recently came out with like a pen that isn't a glue and it's really good. Um, I just wanted to pull this out today because I probably should use it so it doesn't dry up. Okay, so these are the lashes. Like I said, I've had them for a little while, but I have never worn them. They are the La Flair brand 3D French Lash. They're in the style A086 and very comparable looking to Ardell's, if I do say so myself. They look kind of like a wispy. I may have to trim these. Let us see. I just had a weird phenomenon happen. I put these on without putting glue because like, you know how they stick to this? It's like, it's actually sticking to my eye. <laughs> um, should I go with it? No, I'm not gonna go with it. I'll do it the real way. I won't cheat. But I think I am gonna leave, I think I'm just gonna trim a tiny little bit off the corner. So I'm gonna use this LA Colors Dramatolash Glue. It works good, It you know, the, the applicator wand, it's like a little plastic wand. It's not the greatest, but this works in a pinch. Great for vacation, when you just wanna pack as little as possible and everything as small as possible. Maybe that's just me. <laughs> and we're gonna let these sit for just a minute and let the glue get tacky. All you do that, I'm gonna roll them because that kind of helps get the band shaped for your eye a little bit better. Okay, I'm gonna pop these on and I will be right back. Okay, my lashes are on and we're gonna come back to the eyes, gonna move on to face. Now my new favorite foundation from Dollar Tree is the Be Pure Glow Foundation. Nude is a really good shade for me right now. I do wish they had a whole bunch of shades, but they don't, unfortunately. But I am gonna use it today. This is a gorgeous foundation. I do have the darker shade too. It's a little warm and dark for my skin at the moment. My thinking is when I get a little bit more tan, I can mix it with some of this and make my own custom shade. Of course, that's only gonna work within a certain shade range, and um, but hopefully they will come out with more than just two shades. Still waiting on Dollar Tree to kind of get with it in that department. Especially a company like Be Pure, they're kind of like the, they've kind of been like the, like the duping company in Dollar Tree lately, and I feel like they should kind of follow suit a little bit with their shade range to other companies that they're trying to dupe. Because I'm sure this foundation is a dupe for something. I know the mascara is a dupe for um, a Neutrogena mascara, and they've duped some skincare products. And so I'm sure that this is a dupe for something that has way more shades available. I'm a little ghostly right now. Okay, so for concealer, this is the most recent concealer I have. It's the it's what I used to clean up my brows, the Be Pure Essentially Ageless. So we're just gonna go in and conceal. I'm gonna be 
careful of my little eyeshadow job that I shouldn't have done yet. <laughs> Okay, now we're gonna use some setting powder. Again, most recent thing I have is the Be Pure Essentially Ageless. I'm just gonna kinda pack it under my eyes. Really nice powder. I'm gonna use this brush that I hauled from Must Have Beauty, and I'm just gonna kinda wipe any excess and put a little bit and set this all down. Okay, now on to bronzer, blush, and highlighter. I don't have a new bronzer product, but I do have a blush that I'm gonna be trying today. So I'm gonna be using the LA Colors Too Cheeky Matte Bronzer. This is in the shade Bronzed Babe, and this is these products are really great. And let's see, how am I gonna, I think I'm gonna use my blender, my damp blender. This is a really nice, liquid bronzer product. Of course, these, pro if you've been with me and you've tried these, these are excellent products from LA Colors. The shadows, mm, liquid shadows, rival anything high-end. They rival anything high-end, I dare you. So there we go, just a very nice bronzer product. So now for blush, I used the other shade of this and I have it written on the back. Fun in fun in the sun is what this is. These <laughs> these are the uh, Be Pure Clean Beauty Lip Color and Cream Blush Duo. So this is the other shade that I have. It's a little bit of a brighter shade than the, I think the other one was like called Late Night. And I am gonna use this as a blush and a lip product today. We're gonna try it out. I don't think I, I didn't try the other one as a lip product last time. So I think for this look, we're going a little bit more bold. We're going bold today, y'all. So, I mean, this is this is where we're at. So, I'm going to put some. I'm going to use my beauty blender again. And we're just going to try to go light. Y'all know me. Y'all know this is a kind of feat for me. Of course, I went overboard. We will fix it. I'm just going to take some of what was on there on the other side. That's really pretty. Of course, I did much better on this side. You can get really a very subtle or a very crazy look. There we go. I think I've got it a little bit evened out. A little of that goes a long way. Like I said, we are going to use that on lips as well. But first, I'm going to use highlighter. And I have used this product before, but it's from the LA Colors Too Cheeky line. This is the shade Outshine. I think I have two shades of the liquid highlighter. It's just this very like light colored highlighter. And so I'm just going to, again, I'm just going to use kind of the point. Very nice, subtle, but you know, I mean, you could do more or less. See, very, very pretty. So that's all we need of that. So now we're gonna finish up the eyes, then I'll go to the lips. So I definitely need to add some pencil liner in my waterline. And I'm just going to my like favorite eyeliner, pencil liner from the Dollar Tree. It's the Ioni Black Eyeliner. And I'm just gonna go into my waterline. Okay, hey, now I feel like I need to add a little bit of sparkle. Um, I probably will do some something underneath my eye. Let me go ahead and go into that purple shade right there, and I'm just gonna kind of smoke out under my eye a little bit. I haven't done eyeshadow this heavy in a while. <laughs> so I'm just gonna kind of take like a brush, like a packed little brush like that. Go into that purple. I'm not gonna spray my brush. Try to tap off the excess. Kind of smoke out underneath a little bit. There we go. So I think I'm gonna add a little bit of liquid shadow, and I think I'm gonna add this one right here. Sugar, sugar, it's kind of like a slightly pink, slightly, ever so slightly. And I'm just gonna like pop a little bit of this like on the middle of my lid just to kinda give it a little sparkle. A little dimension, I might do a little bit, might do a little tiny bit more. Oh yeah, that's happening. That is happening. Add a little iridescence. That is just what that look needed. 
So I think the eyes, I think I'm fine with the eyes. I think I think I have done enough with the eyes. <laughs> this is the most eyeshadow, like I said, I've worn in a long time. I didn't mean to get so crazy on the inner corner, but here we are. So now I'm gonna go into this and pop this on my lips and see how it does. I think I'm gonna start with my finger. I don't use a lot of like products like this for my lips. You know, this would be really great. I've never done this trend. What's it called, like a watercolor lip or something? Oh, I can't think of the name where it's like, it's really bright in the center and then it kind of feathers out like with with a concealer. I don't know if you know what I'm talking about. I barely know what I'm talking about, but this would probably be great for that. And I was thinking this is gonna be bright, but nothing too crazy for like a bright eye look. Just a very soft, subtle effect. I guess if you used a brush, you could go really like heavier, but I'm just kind of wanting to get a little color. And I guess you could put gloss over this if you wanted to. But yeah, just like a little something, something that's just a little bit toned down for this eye look we got going on. And then I'm just gonna go ahead, because I haven't really done this yet, I'm just gonna spray my face with this setting spray because I haven't used it in this capacity. I love the little container, like the little pink cap, and it's just so cute. Okay, so a quick rundown of the new products that we tried today. First is the Ioni Retractable Brow Pencil in Medium Brown. Love the pencil. Um, I'm, I'm fine now with the color. At first I thought the color was a little warm. It's come together. Um, I think dark brown is a better color for me, even with my hair being a little lighter, but not terrible. Really, but a great product. Like this is an amazing brow pencil. Then the eyeshadow palette, y'all shockingly pigmented shockingly pigmented so good I had a good experience with the first one this one has some fun colors in it as you can see I got a I could have I could stand to have used a lighter hand these are really pigmented shockingly pigmented so yeah very good I've got two more to test I'm gonna go with number three next and then number four in another video and then like I said I think I might do some even with some other eyeshadows do some like two looks one palette type of videos um, anyway so very nice little palette for a dollar twenty five the lashes, like I said, I've had these for a little while, but this is a brand you'll see at the Dollar Tree from time to time, La Flair. Very comparable to an Ardell, really nice. These are a nice, like like a wispy style, a little bit dramatic, not too crazy. So really like the La Flair brand lashes, that's hard to say. And then the last thing I tried, of course I tried the other shade um, in a, a previous video, and so I'm trying this, tried this more brighter shade of the Be Pure Clean Beauty Lip and Cheek Duo. And yeah, really nice effect on the cheeks. Goes on very smooth. You can use more, or you can use less. Very pigmented. Put it on the lips just for a little pop of color. I think you could get do a little bit more if you wanted to with a brush. But I just wanted a little pop. So nice multi-use product there. So yeah, everything. We did not try any flops today. So... Today was a really good day. Again, just another great round of products from the Dollar Tree. So if you enjoyed this video, and I hope you did, please show me you did by hitting that like button. Make sure you check out some of my other videos, and thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.